Okay, uh, are you seeing my screen? Yep, we can see your screen and you're audible. Okay, thank you very much. So let me just go ahead. Uh, once again, I'm Titi Zengea. Uh, on behalf of my team, Paul Sabo and Sonia Shamabika from Great Zimbabwe University, we're talking about the adoption of the Internet of Things for smart agriculture in Zimbabwe. Uh, as introduction, in Zimbabwe, agriculture forms the backbone of economy by contributing approximately 17% of gross domestic product through generating an income of about 60 to 70% of the population. And the Zimbabwean agriculture sector is composed of crop production, animal production, as well as forestry. Over the years, the sector has uh, seen a decline in food production deforestation resulting in the country importing major food items such as maize, wheat, and soya beans. Even though in 1999 to 2000, the Zimbabwean agricultural sector undergo agrarian reforms to equitably uh, share land where farms were divided into smaller plots of five hectares of arable land uh, with communal grazing under the A1 model as well as commercial activities under the A2 model. But still Zimbabwe is experiencing food shortages due to drought, storms and uh, floods. The introduction of technology in agriculture has boosted food production in some of the developed countries, especially in the United States of America and other developing countries. So it is against this background that we investigate how the adoption of Internet of Things for smart agriculture in Zimbabwe will help improve food security. So as definition, Internet of Things is um, a network of interconnected devices such as sensors and communication networks connected through the internet to transfer information without human intervention. Uh, problem statement, Zimbabwe has experienced food shortages due to drought, storms and floods and thus uh, posing a challenge in food security and forcing the country to import food from neighboring countries including the staple food maize. So the main uh, uh, aim is to investigate how the adoption of Internet of Things for smart agriculture in Zimbabwe will help improve food security. So we would uh, achieve this by determining if farmers have adopted Internet of Things in agriculture, assess the level of farmers' knowledgeability about Internet of Things, uh, examine reasons why farmers are still to adopt Internet of Things in agriculture. Okay, so from literature, um, Internet of Things uh, has got uh, those four elements, which are communication services, which include network services for internet data that can be offered through uh, maybe satellite, uh, mobile uh, fixed networks, so that it can be used to collect and exchange data without human intervention. We also have got another element, which is monitoring applications. Uh, which are used to monitor soil moisture, soil health, crop health, crop diseases, animal population, as well as um, machinery such as combined harvester structures, irrigation equipment and drones can actually be fitted with sensors. Okay, another element is the services, uh, which include the detection of soil nutrients and amount of fertilizer required, crop yield detection of pests, and herbs that affect the growth of the crops. And lastly, we've got the census, which play a pivotal role in the collection of data about the status of the land, crops, and animals. Uh, for example, uh, uh, devices can actually be used to determine fruit size, moisture, and uh, nutrient content. Current agricultural trends have seen the adoption of novel strategies of crop production such as uh, greenhouse, hydroponics, vertical farming and phenotyping to increase uh, crop yield. Machinery such as combined harvesters, tractors, irrigation equipment and drones can actually be used, um, can actually be fitted with sensors. For example, the Hello tractor that was developed at a low cost uh, and it can actually be used to monitor um, the condition of the tractor. Internet of Things can also be applied through agricultural drone, which are inexpensive, 
So the device can actually be fitted in with a mechanism that provides farmers with information about the status of the crops, as well as tracking and monitoring the movements of animals to check if there is any danger being uh, caused in their area. In South Africa, uh, Internet of Things uh, in agriculture was implemented through uh, the wine industry where monitoring can actually be done uh, on the whole cycle of growing grapes up to the level of wine production. But to effectively and successfully implement Internet of Things solution in agriculture, there are factors that need to be considered. For example, allowing for real-time collection and presentation of data, providing a solution that is low-powered, is to install and cost-effective, uh, as well as providing a solution that can be remotely accessed globally and not restricted to the operator or local networks. So the researcher used a mixed method where uh, data was collected, qualitative data was collected through interviews. Um, fifth farmers from A2 model farms in the agroecological regions were interviewed online due to COVID restrictions. Also, data was collected from internet about the adoption of Internet of Things in Zimbabwean agricultural sector. A purposive sampling was used to identify farmers who had access to internet and social media platforms. Data was then analyzed and categorized into three clusters, that is, farmers who had adopted Internet of Things and farmers with knowledge, knowledgeable about Internet of Things but not yet adopted the technology, and those that were not aware of the technology at all. From the findings, some of the farmers revealed that they had adopted Internet of Things um, and were able to monitor their soil nutrients, moisture, water usage, temperature, humidity, light, weed, and pests. Uh, some of the farms had sensors in their greenhouses to monitor the environmental parameters. For example, the sensors were actually be able to monitor temperature, humidity, soil nutrients and light. Uh, in one of the farms, the farmer actually installed a global tracking device on some of the bull cattle, and this assisted the farmer in animal management, like the farmer was able to locate the animals if they had uh, been lost or stolen. On the second objective, uh, during the interview, some farmers were knowledgeable about Internet of Things but are still not adopting the technology and farmers cited reasons which uh, include cost, lack of proper infrastructure, poor internet connectivity and the requisite skill to adopt such systems. The farmer stated that adopting such a technology using the existing mobile and fixed networks had challenges during access, uploading, downloading uh, of data, as services were poor and not accessible in some areas. Though the alternative uh, is to use uh, satellite services, uh, but they are said to be costly in Zimbabwe. The last objective was uh, to assess farmers why farmers are still to adopt um, Internet of Things in agriculture. So the majority of the farmers that were interviewed were not aware of the Internet of Things technology and its benefits. So it was their first time to be introduced to such technology. Some of uh, the farmers who did not, not know about the existence of such technology revealed that they were eager to embrace this innovative technology. Though some of the farmers uh, even though after being made aware of Internet of Things in agriculture, through these interviews, they said they would not still adopt such technologies, uh, citing reasons of uh, cost and poor internet connectivity. Uh, from the benefits of adopting Internet of Things for Zimbabwean agriculture, farmers highlighted that um, they were able to monitor their fields and uh, animals remotely and they can actually make faster decisions, especially if they had challenges on the farm. Also, farmers stated that electricity was saved due to constant monitoring of moisture content, 
of the soil rather than being there physically to check the wetness of the ground. Farmers also revealed that water usage was reduced because only areas that needed to be irrigated would get the required amount of water. Also, there was an improvement in the yields as farmers were able to monitor the growth of their plants, especially the soil nutrients and their uh, bed weather conditions and other bed weather conditions. Lastly, uh, labor costs were also reduced as farmers did not have to send someone to the field to physically check the temperature, moisture and nutritious content. This data would be remotely transmitted to the farmer. So in conclusion, the use of Internet of Things has immense benefits to Zimbabwean food security as farmers will be able to make faster decisions, thereby boosting agricultural productivity. Internet of Things can actually uh, enable farmers to monitor soil nutrients, environmental parameters, water usage, and enabling farmers to be well informed about agricultural activities in their fields, regardless of geographical area. As recommendations, the researcher recommends awareness campaigns, recommends that awareness campaigns should be conducted for the adoption of Internet of Things by farmers in, in Zimbabwe. Also, communication infrastructure coverage and speed of the internet should be improved in order for Zimbabwean farmers to also benefit from the adoption of Internet of Things. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll invite questions and I'll allow my, my partners to attend to the questions or to answer the questions. Are there any questions from forum? Are there any questions from 